guys it's Ali and thank you for joining me today so today guys I thought I'd turn the camera on again I'm going to make some big journal cards to go in my botanical journal so I thought I'd turn the camera on while I was doing them I've got a book page here and I'm going to use my paints I'm going to start off with this green studio pebio and it's called does it tell me chrome green so I'm just going to put a bit on the side of my, I've got a little piece of kitchen, uh, grease proof paper. I'm just going to put some green on to my background. In fact, I'm going to put it on here, it'll be easier. I'm just use my... dry off between colours I'm just going to put my colours on next I've got this um, pistachio green I'm going to try a bit of this doesn't look much different to be honest to the one I've just put on but we'll try it oh it says a different shade it's a bit darker so I'm just going to go all over my paper Then I've got this one which is called Lime Green. Just to lighten it up a little bit. Yeah, I like that lime green. Just makes the darkness up a little bit. And then finally, I've got some gold. I'm going to come in with a little bit of gold. Oh, I think I need to clean my paints. Okay, let's have a look at that. Right, I'm going to come in with some more of the lime green. I've got a bit too much gold on there, so I'm just going to go over it a little bit with some more lime green. I'm just using my brayer, as you can see. Oops, and I've chewed the paper up. <laughs> Right, I think I've got enough colour on there now. I'll just grab a wet wipe and just wipe over my brayer, and then it doesn't all paint doesn't all dry on there. I don't look after this like I should do. It's covered in paint. Right, guys, I'm just going to get my heat going. I'm just going to dry off, and then I'll be back. Okay, so my paper's dry. I'm just going to turn it because it's not going to last much longer together. I'm going to cut some journal cards. I'm just going to get my trimmer. Um, I'm not sure what what length they are. Let's just have a little look. So they're about just over nine and a half. So I'm going to cut them to um, three and a half inches and I want four. So there's one. Two. Three. Okay, so and now I want to cut. I've got some green cardstock here. I'm just going to cut some cardstock so that I can fit them. Will I fit two on each? Yeah, just about. Let's just. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these on first and then I know where to cut them. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to ink around my edges first. Just using walnut stain. This is only book page, so it's not very strong. Okay, let's glue these on first then. So that's my glue I'm going to stitch around them anyway once I've finished so I don't need to be overly fussy so I want a little green border so I'm just going to leave enough so there's a border 
Christmas one. And the same with this one. And just cut down the side of there. Okay, there's one. Where's my other shit? Oh, it's there underneath. Let's put these two down. If you're wondering why I'm doing them so big and you've not seen my last video, I'm making a botanical journal, but it's a big one. It's 12 by, I think it's 12 by 8 that I'm making. So that's why I'm doing these so big. If you've not seen my last video, <laughs> be wondering why on earth am I making them so tall. Okay, on this one. Right, now I can cut around them. I'll just get my trimmer again. Just leave a little bit at the bottom. That's it. There's one. And there's two. Right, there's my four journal cards now then. Let's just get rid of that rubbish and I'm going to ink around. In fact, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just round my corners. Oh, this bin of mine. Do you know what? I keep putting it down and losing it. Well, it's not even a bin, it's a basket, but I use it as a bin. I'm just going to round my corners. Okay, so I have inked around my edges. I'm just making sure the text is the right way around. So I've got a couple of stencils. Um, I've got this one with some leaves on. I'm going to do this first. Uh, I'm going to use my brush, I think. I'm going to use my walnut stain. I'm just going to put some stenciling in the background. In fact, I think I'm going to use this stencil on all of them. I'll have a look what that other one looks like, but I like this stencil. Being a botanical journal. Let's have a look what the other stencil looks like. This is like a tree. Floristy kind of stencil. Unless we go with this for a change. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that looks nice actually. We'll use that one. Okay, I want to do a bit of stamping, so I've got my script stamp, I've got VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, because I find this the nicest one to stamp with. I'm just going to stamp in the background. And then I've also got this stamp, which is just like circles. It's just a texture stamp. Just going to put a bit of this on as well. And then this one. Okay, right, so that's my stamping done. I'm just going to grab my towel because I want to put some black splatters down Right, just got my black in. And I need a paintbrush to splatter with. I thought I was prepared, I'm not prepared. I've got one here. Right, it's just, this is just acrylic paint, watered down black acrylic paint. I don't want to knock it over. So I'm just going to put my brush in. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, 
I don't want tons, I just want a little bit on. The thinner your paintbrush, the smaller the splatters will be. Yeah, I think I've got enough on there now. Let's just put the lid on there because the last thing I fancy cleaning up is a full tub of watered down black paint. <laughs> right, I'm just going to get a tissue and just wrap my brushes in a tissue until I can get to the sink. Okay, I'm just going to put on my heat gun, guys, and just dry off those splatters. Okay, so I've dried off my splatters and I've die cut some uh, flowers. These are from a Tim Holtz big die. I'm going to put one of these in the middle. I've only got three different ones, so I'll have to do two the same and one different. Which one should we do? Uh, we'll do that one. Yeah, I'm going to glue them down, I think. Oh, hang on, what's this one? Have I used that? Oh, yeah, I've used that one. I'm going to glue these down onto my journal cards. Uh, where's my old brayer? I use this old brayer for just making sure things are stuck. Hopefully they'll, I'll put them under a big book after once they dry properly. Right, let's just pop these little bits out that are not come out the die cutting machine. Yeah, it's a big sty this one. One of my favourites actually. Yeah, I'll have to put it under something heavy. They bent a little bit with the being wet in them and whatnot, but it'll be okay. I'll sort them out. I've got some heavy books. I'll put them under some heavy books for an hour. I'm trying to just keep my journal to sort of green, brown black and gold that's they're the colors i'm trying to just keep in this botanical journal oh the weather's awful guys i don't know about where you are i'm in the southeast of england and it's just miserable it's like a winter's day i wouldn't think we're summer in summer I'm going into august soon Okay, so there's those. I'm happy with them. Right, I've got some little words here from a kit that I bought. I'm just going to cut around them. Just grab some scissors. They're just like botanical words. This one says fern. Uh, this one says botanical. Uh, Lichen. And leaf. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of black ink around the edges of these words. There's one. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue them onto this piece of black card just to make them pop a little bit. I'm going to try and leave enough space so I can cut around them. I'm going to get a pair of fancy edge scissors. I'm just going to 
do my best to cut around them a little bit. There's one. Two. Okay, that's them. Let's glue these down now then. Oh, my hands are covered in all sorts, paint, glue. Oh dear me. Anybody else like me at the end of the day, your hands are just covered in all sorts. I may put a tab at the top when I, before I stitch around them, a black tab. In fact, I might do that now. I might see if I've got any more black card handy. I'm just going to look in my drawer just to see if I've got some black card. I shan't be one minute. One. Two. Thick card this is. Oh, right. So let's just stick these on and then yeah, like I said, when I'm stitching around I can catch this with the sewing machine so it doesn't fall off. Let's put that on the top of there. Like that. Just give it a second to grab. And then this one. How's everybody doing today, guys? Are you all okay? I hope so. I'm going to try and get some videos filmed today, hopefully. I'm just trying to get the sticky glue off my fingers. I am going to put some Nouveau drops on, but I'm not going to put them on. I've got my black ones here, but I'm going to stitch around them first because they take a good few hours to dry. So I won't be able to put it through the sewing machine if I put it on now. I'm just going to put a few random little dots on the backgrounds. So there we go then, guys. That is my botanical journal cards to go in my journal. I've enjoyed putting them together. I hope you've enjoyed watching, guys. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. Take care and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye for now.